Okay, so the first thing to check is that we've done all four of these things. So first of all, making sure that all our programs are renamed without spaces. You'll see I have the continent guesser, piggy bank, grades, and careers. They all have no spaces in them, so that's correct. The second thing to check is that we all have these um, loops. Now you can call your procedures whatever you want. Um, I call mine main. You might want to give yours a more meaningful name, but main is fine. So if we just check all our programs in here, or any of these programs, when I edit with idle, you'll see that um, the program has got a def main. Underneath it, um, we've got a colon, then everything is imported. So whatever your program looked like before, just add in def main. Let's assume that you hadn't done this and your program looked like this. You had def main, you highlighted the rest of your program and then we need to indent everything because when we have a colon we indent. So we format and indent the region and we save that. Now we've got that for every single one of our programs so we have a main loop for every single one of our programs. So the next thing is then to create our program launcher in this folder here. So I'm just going to open idle And I'm going to make a new file in a new window. So we'll go to File, New File. And all we're doing here then is um, let's just save first and make sure it's saved in the correct place. And that is um, along with all my other programs in my Z drive, in my documents, and coding projects. And it's in this folder here alongside Piggy Bank, Grades consonant guesser and careers. Um, I'm going to call it um, program launcher. I'll just keep it all as one word. That's my previous one that I've already made. And we're just going to follow the algorithm that I've given you. So I've given you a flowchart here which is start, output the four program choice for them to choose from, and then let them input the choice. So let's follow this through step by step. I would have the flowchart with you um, at your side so you can be following this and I'll just be doing that. So output the four program choices for them to choose from. This is just a simple print. So let's just print um, please or welcome to my program launcher print. Um, here are my four programs And you can do this line by line, or you can do backward slash n. So you could say um, program A is piggy bank. And then we'll just use backslash n. And then another backward slash so I can carry on here. B is going to be, um, guess a continent. Backslash n, backward slash c is going to be a student grade finder and D is going to be careers finder. We could do backslash n as well and then we'll close the bracket. After that then, so that's our first parallelogram complete. After that it says input a choice. So here I'm just going to do choice equals input. Please choose a program from the list above and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if choice equals A, so that's a piggy bank, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to import the name of my file here is called piggy bank with capital P capital B so I'll go import piggy bank and then I'm just going to run piggy bank the procedure which is called main. I would then just need to do elif choice equals b and you would do the following. Now because we've used these here, so a and b, because I've used those there um, I'm going to have to use capital letters here so I can do a dot upper here and that means that whatever we type in is going to be forced to be uppercase. Um, I'm just going to do an empty print there for now 
and let's do an else here. So let's say, for example, they don't type A, B, C, or D, because obviously you're going to put in elif choice equals C and D here. Then you might want to say else print, and then an error message. Sorry, that has not been found, or incorrect um, letter inputted. Please input A, B, C, D. And then here, we would print, actually not print, we're just going to exit. So that is essentially your whole program. There are other things which you might want to add. So you might want to add, for example, a while loop. You might want to add, um, it's, do you want to continue? You might want to add some ASCII art to this. But actually, if we just save and run this, this should run fine. So let's just run the module. And uh, let's say we're going to choose program A, because I know that should work press enter and then our piggy bank program starts so that is how we would start program launcher I'm going to leave you to um, figure out how to do the elif choice equals b elif choice equals c d but it's essentially the same as this following this piggy bank and piggy bank main just making sure that your file names are the same as we're in there so that's the end of the tutorial